Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today we're in the paymaster's office, which is used by the ship's sea cadet troop. But uh, these are the safes that the money that is paid out to the crew is normally stored in. I have often read that it cost one million dollars a day to operate an Iowa-class battleship in the 1980s. But I've never seen actual statistics on what that accounts for. This number often comes up because detractors of the battleship program at that time would argue that a million dollars a day is a ridiculous fee to be paying for a ship like this. Whereas supporters would say it only costs one million dollars a day to operate these ships uh, and they can deliver so much ordnance during that time and blah, 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 compared to an aircraft carrier, which is three times as expensive. So we have gone through one of the ship's command histories to look at what um, sort of stuff is expended in a given year. We chose 1987 because that was on top of the pile, because uh, that is an average year. The ship is not at war during that time. Uh, she spends more than half of the year pier side, so it, it's not like World War II where she's constantly sailing every day. Uh, she does some gunnery training exercises and qualifications. She runs the engines. Um, she's used as the film set for in the Robert Mitchum miniseries War and Remembrance. She has a couple of admirals come on board. Her crew puts on a production of Mr. Roberts. Um, her choir performs at Disneyland. It's just the most average year ever for a peacetime battleship. So, going from the command history, in the year 1987, the battleship expended 260 rounds of 16-inch ammunition. So that means the ship fired roughly two rounds every three days. So not quite one round per day. Um, she expends uh, 628 rounds of 5-inch ammunition, which is a little bit less than two rounds per day. Uh, she expends 2,500 rounds of Sea Whiz ammunition, which is basically just one brrr. Yeah, again, because this is peacetime, these are all training exercises that the ship does. And, and because she was in uh, the yard the opening part of the year, this is mostly stuff from October on where she's expending this. Uh, during that year, 567 new sailors checked on board. That's out of a total crew of about 1,600 when operating. Uh, 251 personnel were transferred. 308 members of the crew were separated from the service. So they hit the end of their enlistment and retired. Uh, first term reenlistments are 52%, which is pretty good retention rate. Second term reenlistments are about 12.5%. It's less great. Uh, career reenlistments are 64%. The battleship receives 543,000 pounds of mail, which works out to 1,500 pounds of mail a day. Every single day, three quarters of a ton of mail were delivered to the ship and her 1,600 crew. Uh, outgoing mail, seems like the crew sent less messages than they received, uh, was 90,625 pounds on the year. They're receiving a lot of care packages with stuff in it. They're, they're just sending back out letters, it seems. Uh, in terms of news media releases, 56 on the year, which is roughly one per week. And community relations events are 17 on the year, or a little bit more than one per month. And those tend to be, they open the ship up for tours, or a dependent day, or um, a, a tiger cruise, things like that. Total provisions consumed on board are $915,000 worth, or about $2,500 worth a day, which is relatively low for a 1,600-man crew. But remember, uh, while she's in the yard, she probably doesn't have a full crew, and many of these crew are probably on liberty throughout this period, so they're not eating on board, or they may be going to the uh, base chow hall for food. So that's probably less than normal, and yet, that's still 695,000 cans of soda and 240,000 candy bars consumed on the year. The ship's store sold 22,000 baseball caps throughout the year. And, and that helps show us 
what the visitation was like to the ship. With a 1,600-man crew, they aren't buying this many baseball caps. These are people who are coming to visit the ship. Uh, the barber shop gave out over 23,000 haircuts. That makes enough for 14 haircuts for each of the 1,600 uh, crew members, so roughly one a month. 546 tons of laundry are processed, or a ton and a half a day. Annual payroll for the ship is $11.5 million, which comes out to about $32,000 a day issued from this office to the crew. It's, of course, not issued daily, but that's the daily salary of the crew. Yeah, I, I expected payroll to be a significantly bigger uh, number if it's a million dollars a day to run the ship. Uh, that 32,000 is nothing. 11.5 million out of a 365 million dollar a year budget for a single Iowa class battleship is nothing at all. It, that uh, 32,000 dollars a day comes out to a, uh, an average of 20 dollars per sailor, which means that you've got the captain and, and other people who are making well above that 20 dollars, and you've got the boots on board who are making well less than $20 a day. It's worth pointing out that, again, the full crew probably isn't on board, so we're just dividing by 1600 off the top of our heads. Um, and enlisted sailors aren't paid the same sort of salary that we're paid to work here because they're fed by the Navy, they're housed by the Navy, uh, other things like that. So the set, remember, this is 1987. So also, inflation isn't nearly at the same place that it is today. So these numbers seem small, but uh, they aren't wildly off. Twice as much as payroll is the amount they spent on fuel per day. So, an Iowa-class battleship can hold 2.4 million gallons of diesel in the 80s. 2.4 million gallons gets you a, a approximately 30 days worth of fuel, which is 80,000 gallons per month if she's steaming continuously. A gallon of diesel in 1987 cost about 90 cents, which means they spent $72,000 per day on fuel for the ship, or twice what they spent on payroll. That being said, uh, that assumes that the ship is sailing every single day at her most economical cruising speed. Uh, which she was not. On the entire year, the ship only received 3.5 million gallons of fuel. Remember, she only starts getting underway in October. Uh, of that, she offloads 757,000 gallons, uh, uses almost 900 gallons of that on helicopters, and 4,500 gallons of that is lube oil. Uh, likewise, 3 million gallons of uh, fresh and feed water are distilled by the ship's evaporators. Also, uh, they change out 750 fluorescent tubes that year, which is approximately two a day, which is a little bit less than what I have to do. They see 5,590 crew members in dental or for examination, so that's roughly three times for each man. Uh, they do 3,250 ex examinations, so that's roughly two per man. Uh, 3,600 cleanings, again, about two per man. Uh, just under 3,000 restorations, so a little bit under two per man, 378 extractions, and uh, 114 root canals for a total value of $300,000 on the year, or about $1,000 a day. Likewise, sick bay saw 8,466 patients, so uh, that's, what, about four times per year? Uh, they gave out 3,200 immunizations, again, about twice a year, um, 1,500 x-rays, about once a year per man, and uh, 5,700 prescriptions, which is about three prescriptions per man. The ship only steamed 5,000 nautical miles in the year of 1987, so that is a uh, very small amount. Uh, remember, a single fuel tank will get her 15,000 nautical miles, so that's the equivalent of steaming at her most economical for approximately 10 days. She really does spend most of her time in port because it's an average peacetime year. So, uh, after looking at these numbers, 
it does not seem like it costs a million dollars a day to man the battleship. Payroll, fuel consumption, ammunition expenditure is practically free because that's all bought and paid for already. You're doing less than one projectile a day. Uh, none of these are particularly large numbers. Um, so maybe, maybe, maybe it's a million dollars a day if you're counting uh, the ship in combat with a full crew, with dependents, uh, burning everything. But in an average year, it seems significantly lower than that. Uh, missiles would represent a multi-million dollar expense each. However, we don't see any expended at all in 1987. Uh, so maybe that's another cost that we're missing. Whereas if the ship was in combat, rippling off all 32 of her tomahawks, that does represent a hundred million dollars investment. While it might have cost a million dollars a day in the 80s to operate the battleship, it costs about $10,000 a day to operate her as a museum. This is without having to worry about uh, fuel or expending much ordnance, although we do go through some black powder, not nearly as much as uh, they do even in an off year like this. You still have to pay for heating, air conditioning, lighting, uh, staff, significantly less than 1,600 men, but a little bit more than $20 a day. If you would like to support the continued operation of the battleship, there's a link in the description below for ways you can donate. What do you think about this number? Does a million dollars a day seem right? Let us know what you think in the comment section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. In addition to supporting us at the link below, you can support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about the museum and our channel. Thanks for watching.